Chapter 1. Define your own path to riches. The people around you will tell you what you should and shouldn't want, no matter how you feel about it. If you don't have a mind of your own, you will find yourself pandering to their opinions and staying stuck in a rut for years or a lifetime. Everybody arrives on the planet with unique desires, gifts, and talents. As you journey through life, your job is to find out what yours are, to nurture and cause them to bloom into the most authentic version of yourself. To do this, you must be rich, able to afford all the things and the experiences that you require to fully actualize your most authentic life. Money is the energy that will help you discover your talents and realize your desires. No one, and that includes you, is exempt from getting rich. You live in a world where nearly everything involved in your growth, happiness, and self-expression costs money. All you need to do is get a clear handle on what you want in life, especially when many opinions exist freely. Focus on what's true and what matters to you, and you get to know that by being intuitive, listening to your heart, and following through with what brings you happiness. This summary will challenge you to reevaluate your mindset and tailor it to your actual needs. Discover the misconceptions you have about money and get rid of them. Make decisions and implement them. The most valuable part of this tidbit is beyond just making money. Jen Sincero uses wealth as a strategy to help you become a better version of yourself. Chapter 2 Master Your Wealth Mindset When it comes to the area of transforming your experiences, what you hold in your heart is far more valid than any external truth. So, if you believe money is evil and difficult to make, that is what your experience will be. Your external world mirrors your internal world. This is why you need to constantly master your mindset by watching the thoughts that you allow in your mind and the words that you speak with your mouth. Your realities are make-believe. Whatever you make yourself believe, you experience. Your beliefs come from your subconscious mind. At your birth, it is blank. As you grow, it internalizes as the truth all of the attitudes and beliefs about money it learns from family and friends primarily. All of this occurs before your conscious mind can develop to a stage where it can filter what's true. Your thoughts inspire the emotions that influence the actions forming your reality. They are important because your emotions act as catalysts and drive you in ways that not even wisdom, logic, fear, or doubt will. Strong, positive emotions will have no respect for fears or limitations. Your words back up your thoughts and your beliefs. You master your mindset when you get all three, your beliefs, your thoughts, and your words, to work together in a harmonious whole to create the financial reality you want. Chapter 3. Money is energetic. There is an ever-present risk of you stumbling through life on autopilot if you don't control your words, thoughts, and beliefs. In order to do this, become aware of what you say, think, and believe. We use money every day in exchange for goods or services. For this reason, your feelings about money need to be as clear as daylight. Money is an exchange medium, a unit of measurement used in the act of giving and receiving. Contrary to what many believe, money is neither good nor evil. It is a messenger of value, always minding its business. How you use it gives it its personality. Money is only a tool. It will take you wherever you wish, but it will not replace you as the driver. Ayn Rand Money derives its value from the energy you give to it. For example, the $50 that you earned doesn't have the same energy as the $50 that was stolen from someone's pocket on the subway. Your job is to have your frequency aligned with the money you want and open yourself to receiving it. This will happen when you are clear on the value of the product or service you are offering and you are excited and grateful for receiving money for it instead of feeling weird and embarrassed. Giving and receiving money is an energetic exchange between people. Also, money comes to you not just from other people but from universal intelligence. Jen Sincero reassures us that we are already familiar with it. For some, universal intelligence is God. For others, the higher spirit. Whatever we call it, its essence stays the same. It is always bigger and mightier than us, but it also has our back. This makes your thoughts very important because this is how you connect with universal intelligence. Focus on your desire to have a specific quantity of money for a certain purpose, your excitement to share something of value with others. 
These practices will help you obtain the money you want. Chapter 4. Bust Your Subconscious Money-Limiting Beliefs Your subconscious beliefs limit how much money you think you can have. Just switching your thoughts from, there's no way I can get that amount of money together, to, there must be a way to get that amount of money, will help you unearth any money-repelling misconceptions you have. Then you will be able to question, diffuse, and rewrite them, acquiring the strength to grow. If you believe that money is dirty, you will never make it. There are four ways to do this. Step one, face your money fears. Figure out something scary, uncomfortable, a giant leap towards your goal of getting rich and do it. For example, deposit for the rent for the office space you require for your spanking new business. Step two, watch your mouth. Say good things about your universal intelligence given the ability to make money. Those words will spring up positive thoughts and feelings. The thoughts are your super highways to the spiritual world and universal intelligence. Step three, speak only when necessary. True personal wisdom grows out of moments of silent contemplation. You will be able to make more powerful choices, catch yourself in the moment, and ask yourself your motive for saying what you are about to say. Step 4. See yourself as having a friendly relationship with money. Did you know? Invited to the Oprah Winfrey Show a while ago, Jim Carrey revealed that he used his mental mightiness to attract money, $10 million, fame, and success. Chapter 5. In Your Heart of Hearts Desire to Make Money To become rich, connect to your desire for money with passion. Being clear on your purpose for seeking riches will help. Wishing to be rich on its own is not enough. There has to be meaning behind the money, or else you will slip into complacency the moment you encounter any difficulty. Monitor the emotions surrounding your incentive for making money because they will prompt you to action. The following are four things you need to do to be fired up and clear about why making money is essential to you. 1. Be specific. You need to have a blazing desire to create a new financial reality. Remember that money has no character, so be crystal clear about what the money you want is for. 2. Align with the most authentic version of yourself. When you go against who you are, you get stressed out, your progress slows, and you blame yourself for the crappy results you get. However, if you listen to your heart and connect with who you are, you have the energy required to make things happen. Inspired, brilliant ideas will come to you as you attain a state of flow with universal intelligence. In that state, everyday challenges will be nothing more than learning experiences for you. 3. Don't settle for either or. Go for and. Our society thrives on fear. It wants you to limit yourself rather than stretch. Love or make money. Be a good person or a rich one. Go on vacation or pay your car loan. Go for the and life. Do what you love and make money. Expand and grow. 4. Be wide open to positive intervention by universal intelligence. Your only jobs are to visualize your life as you specifically want it to be, get positively emotional, and inspired to take action. Then leave the rest for universal intelligence to work out on your behalf. Chapter 6. Your Mental Money Makeover Your thoughts create your financial reality and you have a choice of what you want to think about. There are five things you need to do to master the mindset of wealth. Get clear on what you desire. Hold that vision in your mind with a resolve to make it real. Fall in love with your idea so that any self-limiting subconscious beliefs can't stop you. Have faith that it's already yours. Take purposeful action. Universal Intelligence is listening to your thoughts, ready to take them as working orders and help you create the reality you envision. In order to shift your financial reality, you need to control your thoughts and actions. Don't complain. You can either have your excuses or your success, but not both. To control your thoughts and get wealthy beyond your imagination, do four things. First, focus on positives. It will raise your frequency, help you change your life and see the things you haven't noticed before. 
For example, the money-making opportunities, the people who can help you, and the ability to visualize a bigger life for yourself. Secondly, work on ramping up your emotions. Your positive thoughts are able to access their superhero powers to create new expansive beliefs, fearless actions, and exciting new realities only through positive emotions. Your emotions are the motivating kicks in your butt. They alert your body to the fact that it's time to take action and make a thought a physical reality. The third step is to imagine. Through your imagination, you're able to play with the infinite possibilities available to you. You will become a different person, the one who creates whatever you set your mind on instead of settling for what you can get. Finally, be determined. The universe will always send you what you need. It wants you to succeed, grow, and shine, but the cross is yours to carry. The outcomes you get depend directly on how determined you are. When you make the decision to be rich, you have to be ruthless with yourself. Now, you're not only growing a new money-making mindset, you are also battling your limiting subconscious beliefs about money that you've probably not faced before. Chapter 7 Without faith, there will be no gratitude. Faith is the part of you that believes in the miracle of an unproven, awesome reality that lies within your grasp. It is the rocket that you ride into uncharted territory in your wildest dreams. Without your faith, the life that you are determined to create will never be. Taking a leap of faith is a win-win. You go big and take scary action steps to change your financial situation. If you nail it, good for you. If you don't, good for you too. You will learn lessons. That's much better than staying stuck inside your comfort zone. Your faith is a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Gratitude puts you in close contact with universal intelligence because by being filled with gratitude, you are tuning in your frequency to that of the universe. You are matching the universe's energy of giving with your energy of gratitude, and this high-frequency response will open you up to receive more gifts from the universe. Gratitude gets you out of the loop of lowness, opens you to new possibilities, and sets you free. Jen Sincero If, for instance, you are feeling frustrated and upset by your lack of income, be grateful. Remember, money is energy. When you switch into gratitude mode and focus on feeling grateful for all you have and all that is coming your way, even if there isn't any money anywhere in sight at the moment, you strengthen your faith that the money will be there for you and align yourself energetically with this belief. Soon enough, you will start manifesting the very things and opportunities you are grateful for. Chapter 8. Teach Yourself to Take Decisive Action if you are serious about getting rich enough to live your life to its fullest potential, you need to decide to do it with the tenacity of a person facing life-threatening and unbeatable odds. You don't come up with the usual excuses the moment the slightest challenge comes up. You have to decide that for you, there is no plan B. If you have a backup plan, you haven't made a decision yet. From its Latin roots, the word decide translates to cut off, meaning you do away with all other options and stay committed to the decision alone. The reason you probably panic is that you fear you will miss out on all the other cool things you want to do. The truth is, you can't do anything if you try to do everything. When you fragment your time and focus over a lot of things, you are bound to fail at your goal of getting rich. We are often afraid to decide because it will eliminate all other prior existing possibilities. Figure out how you are going to get rich and make the no-nonsense decision to keep going until you reach your goal. Eventually, you will find that you will get to do all the other things you couldn't do while you were busy sticking by your decision to get rich. A firm decision sets your mindset and actions in motion and also alerts universal intelligence that you are good to go. Everything you need, opportunities, ideas, people, and things will start moving in your direction. One good life-changing idea can pop up into your subconscious, seemingly out of nowhere, and change your life. Chapter 9. Surround yourself with high-frequency people. 
Your environment shapes everything about you, from your drinking habits to how you dress and your financial situations. The longer you immerse yourself in certain surroundings, the more influence they have over you. The rule is no different when it comes to money. Who and what you surround yourself with has a telling effect on how you perceive it and what you feel about it. Your environment shapes your thoughts about what is cheap or not, what purchase is wise or not, and how much income you will allow yourself to make. In fact, your income level is the average of the incomes of the top five people you hang out with the most. Without giving it a thought, you accept your environment is the reality, what the normal in life looks like. Thus, it is important when you decide to upgrade your income and standard of living to put yourself in the new environment you are intent on creating for yourself. It will jar you out of your set ways of thinking, believing, and being. Also, it will give the new environment an opportunity to start becoming your new idea of normal. So, window shop in the stores you fancy but can't afford now. Walk through neighborhoods where you hope one day to buy a house. Go test drive that dream car of yours. Our environment shapes our perception of reality, so be conscious of the people you surround yourself with. And if your physical surrounding depresses you, spruce it up to your ideal surrounding the best way you can. Put a fresh coat of paint on the walls. Get the windows cleaned out. Hang up pictures of your favorite places on earth. Put some plants into your space. Let the clothes you wear, the food you eat, the music you listen to contribute to your joy. Let the people around you be high-frequency ones, the type that would cheer you on and support you. For the others, let them go. Your high-frequency friends will boost your energy, strengthen your faith, make you up your game, and mightier. Plus, they will celebrate who you are. Chapter 10. Harder work doesn't pay. There is a way you act around money when you are broke. You tend to hold on to the unhealthy relationships you have with money, reluctant to peel off the layers of money-limiting beliefs. They lie dormant in your subconscious because you are afraid of what you will find beneath, maybe guilt for wanting to get rich or investment opportunities you blew. You can end the torture by taking the time and effort required to untangle these beliefs. Attempting to avoid or ignore them will only constantly backfire on you. The average Jane spends more time in her life figuring out the perfect angle to take a selfie than she does figuring out what she really wants out of life, what it will cost her, and how she ought to increase her income to make it happen. To become rich, you don't need to dive into endless work hours, but think first what kind of work will make you wealthy. Society teaches you to work harder because money will somehow come if you put in more work. That is not true. Rich people don't make their wealth working themselves to the bone. Instead, focus on the quantity of money that you desire and what you need to do differently so you can earn it. You are more likely to succeed that way. Something about what you do has to transform if you need to change your financial situation. It could be setting up a new business. It could be taking on a new job you don't fancy but could be the ideal stepping stone for you. You cannot play it safe if you want to be rich. You need to play to win instead of playing not to lose. Conclusion. Getting rich is very easy. There are only some things that you need to do to hit the gold mine of your life. Even if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you can become rich by changing your mindset regarding money. Begin first by being clear on the reason you desire your riches and then determine how much rich is to you. No one can have everything and no one needs to. Next, decide what you should do or change about what you are doing right now to earn your riches. Perhaps you have some dangerous misconceptions or prejudice against money or the kind of relationship you can have with it. Carefully examine your mind to detect and eliminate them. Many people tend to underestimate the influence our thoughts have on the external reality, and that is why no matter how hard they work, they still cannot achieve the level of wealth they desire. And while you are on your journey, have the right mindset about money. Create and maintain a healthy relationship with it. Vibrate at a frequency high enough to begin to attract to yourself the opportunities, the people, and the resources that will help you along your path. Connect with universal intelligence. It is in the business of bestowing gifts on humankind. 
you will be rich beyond your wildest imagination. A welcome side effect of that can be a boosted level of self-confidence and trust in your strength. Once you manage to overcome yourself, money will no longer be an issue. Try this. Pick up your journal and describe in detail the authentic life you desire. What amount of money will get you there? What would you do or change about what you are doing presently to get you there? Is your wealth mindset in top shape? Do your beliefs, thoughts, and words align with the authentic life you dream about? If they don't, what are you doing about it? Write down three areas of your financial life where you opted for the either-or life. Now, write out how you would transit from the either-or life to the and life in these areas.